How old are you? Uh, 30 years old. <laughs> really? And how long have you been a liberal? Uh, probably five to six years, maybe. And you were a conservative prior to becoming a liberal? Very much. And what made you become a liberal? I got a little older, a little smarter. Oh, you <laughs> grew out of it, yeah. And you were tired of being a man? Uh, I was tired of being an idiot, <laughs> but <laughs> you. So you woke up one day. You know what? I'm tired of being a man. I want to be a liberal. I think there are plenty of men that are liberal. <laughs> Not real men. You really think so? Men who are liberals are betas. What do you mean? What is a man to you? I'll tell you in a minute. That's a good question. I wanted to ask you first, though. Uh, let me ask. Are you Cuban? Uh, half, yeah. Half Cuban and half what? Uh, uh, European stuff. I don't know. So, oh, okay. Your your mother was Cuban. Your father. Uh, mom was Cuban. Uh, and your dad is, you don't know what I don't he know, was. I'm European, yeah. <laughs> Did you know your father? Yeah, I just don't know the background much. I don't really care that much. You don't care that much? Nah. About your father? About my heritage or my ethical or ethnic oh, yeah. background. Oh, yeah, I understand that. <laughs> Are you four illegal aliens breaking the law and just coming into our country? Uh, not generally, no. You're not for that? No, I don't think when so. When you say not generally, are you saying you're somewhat for it? I mean, it depends on the type of illegal immigrant, I guess. Oh, there are certain types that you would let in? Yeah, I guess, maybe. Sure. Like what type? <laughs> uh, a high school laborer might come here and overstay a visa. I don't think that's necessarily a harmful immigrant. We're talking about the ones who are breaking the law coming across the borders. The Somebody illegal. that overstays their visas, that's where most illegal immigrants come from. How about the ones who are breaking the law? They're not coming with visas. The most of them that are here illegally the law, are, yeah. No, yeah. those who are breaking the law to come here. Yeah, if you overstay your visa, that's a form of breaking the law. How about if you br come across the border illegally? How about it? It, it, it? Are you for them doing that? Uh, no, you should probably try to find a way to get here legally. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Is it fair to give other countries money, but not give money to put up a wall around your country? I don't know. Is it fair to give tax cuts to the wealthiest Americans and spend a lot of money on our military, but not fund the wall? I mean, Trump could have done it with any, any number of funding bills. I mean, Amazing. Did you vote for Hillary Clinton? <laughs> Yeah, I did. Well, no wonder your name is Destin. Destiny. But Destiny. To be fair, your name is Jesse. I've it, heard yeah. that used for women quite a bit as well. With the I, it is used for women. I, I just hear but it. No I hear I. Jesse. If somebody told me that Jesse was coming into a room, I'd be expected Destiny's to see a pretty lady. Not, not with the, the name I. right now. I, I can't yeah. hear an I. Are you I. married? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, what does any of this have to do about the government shutdown? Let though? me go. I just explained to you that uh, the president was forced to close down portion, parts of the government because the Democrats refused to give him money to put the wall up. But they are willing to support abortion. Are you for abortion? Why wasn't the president able to negotiate with the Democrats? Because the Democrats are evil. <laughs> they, they are suckers. They want the vote. They, that's why they want the illegal aliens in here. And they think that's just because the they're running Congress evil. right now that they have the power. They don't. Instantly. Are you well, they, for, but they weren't running Congress. The Republicans were. Are you, they are now. Are you for... So why didn't the Republicans uh, get it funded? They're weak. Understand. We beta males, rhino Republicans. Wait, I thought you said conservatives were alpha males. They're not conservative. Oh. President Trump is a conservative. Is he the only one? No, uh, Steve, Steve King. Oh, the white supremacist? is He's a conservative? Why do you call him a white supremacist? Because he believes that white people are superior to other people. Is that what he said? Yeah. He didn't say that? Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. More or less, no. he said it before. Are yeah. you a nationalist? Uh, no, not really. You're not? Why not? Um, I don't really care much about, I guess, countries. It's not my interest. You don't care that much about America? Um, I care about the people in America. But do you care about America? As a concept? Not necessarily. Not more than the side of it. Do you care Makes about the sense. country, America? Not more than the people inside of it, no. Amazing. <laughs> and so you're not for the wall going up, right? No, not really. Are Amazing. you for the wall going up in Israel? Amazing. Israel has a wall. Are you for that? Um, I mean, that's Israel's business. I don't really pass uh, judgment on what other people do. Are you for that? I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm indifferent to it. I don't know. Do you support Israel putting a wall up around a country? If they want to. It's their country. They can do whatever they want. Why can't we do that here? We could if we wanted to. I'm I don't for, want to. I'm not Israeli. I'm American. I'm for Israel putting the wall up. I think they did the right thing. We should do it here as well. I wanted to ask uh, illegals that are coming here. They land in in the. Uh, they end up in the com black communities first uh, around the country. And so they are really bad for the country and really bad for black people, first and foremost, because they take jobs away from blacks. They bring their drugs and crime into the black community, and blacks are already suffering from crime. Not Is all, unemployment at like 3.8% right now? All, are they really? But, let, me, let me finish this. <laughs> not all, but most. Um, they... Uh, 
<laughs> let me finish the this point. aliens um, <laughs> take away health care <laughs> because they're having babies and stuff, and black women can't uh, get into these hospitals and things like that. Um, employment, the uh, employers hire the illegal aliens for day labor over the blacks because it's cheaper to hire illegal aliens, uh, an illegal alien. Does it bother you that blacks are affected first and foremost by illegal aliens coming in? I don't understand how Trump can say that black unemployment is the lowest it's ever has been, but somehow all these illegals are stealing jobs from black people. Wh who, I don't know who I'm supposed to believe, you or Trump there. Does it bother you that the blacks are being affected first and foremost? Oh. I don't think I don't I don't understand the question. Of course he doesn't. Does, are, you, are, are you lying does, or is Trump lying to me? I don't understand. Does it bother you that these illegal aliens are bringing in crime? They're running blacks out of their own communities. They're taking jobs from them. The public schools are overcrowded with illegal aliens, so the black citizen children are suffering from it. There are fights almost every day. Healthcare has been affected by the illegal aliens and uh, concerning black people. Does that bother you that the blacks are being affected in a negative way, first and foremost? Well, if illegals are running blacks out of their communities and their communities are ghettos, isn't that a good thing? Are they running them out to like middle class housing or where are they going after? Are you refusing to answer that oh. question? I, I mean, the question doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that meaning that it doesn't bother you that blacks are being affected first and foremost? All when sorts of people are affected by all sorts of issues. When you in the say it doesn't state. make sense. Are you saying that it's okay that blacks are being affected in a negative way by illegal aliens? If we really cared about how blacks are being affected, I don't think we'd be talking about illegal immigrants' impact on health care. I'm asking you, <laughs> a white liberal, uh -huh. do you, are you, does it bother you that blacks are affected first and foremost by illegal aliens? I don't think blacks are the only people affected by illegal aliens. I didn't ask you about others. I only oh asked about blacks. I don't think blacks are affected that much by illegal aliens. So you're not bothered? I don't think it happens that much. Are you bothered by it? I, if it happened, I would be, yeah. It is happening. Are you bothered by it? If it really was, then yeah, I would be, but I don't think it is. And why would you be bothered by it? I'm bothered by anything that bothers how people about, in our about, country. By, how about, about black people? Why are you bothered by that? <laughs> concerning black people? I don't care if they're black people. But there are other Americans that are being bothered by things. It's a pretty big deal, yeah. So you're not going to answer that. What do you think about white people who are under attack? Uh... Uh, they're called racist if they speak oh up or disagree with blacks and others. They uh, Their jobs are being taken away from them. Uh, black people are attacking them, rob not all, but most, raping and murdering and uh, 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 attacking them. Uh, what do you think about that? And even Steve King, Representative Steve King, who told the truth, all he did was tell the truth, and now he's under attack because he's white. What do you think about that? I mean, I think he's under attack probably because he's very racist. Uh, what do you I don't think, think about people white are, people being under attack? When they people speak are up. under attack in the United States. I think white people are doing just fine. Do you think that you're white, right? Well, I you're think Cuban. So. I mean, I look pretty white. Yeah, you look white, but mm. you're Cuban, half Cuban, half white. If you spoke out against black people and you were attacked and they took your job away from you or made you lose your job, would you be okay with that? I mean, it would depend on what I said to get attacked, Jesus. I guess. If you spoke Such the truth faggot. and you were attacked, job taken away from you, and other things happening, and they call you a racist as a white man, half Cuban, would you be okay with that? Give me an example of something I could say. Would you be okay with that? Is the question. Well, could you give me an example of what You're I would have gonna, to be okay with? Are you here to answer questions or what? I mean, this is a pretty loaded question. I'm just curious, what could I say when that would say get them loaded, to attack what me? What do you mean by loaded? You're assuming a lot in the question. I mean, no, it was just a question. <laughs> well, yeah, you're assuming that I would say something. That, I mean, like if I said I hated all black people or something, then yeah, I would he expect cut off and amazing. Them. Do you agree with me that there is no such thing as racism, sexism, homophobism, Islamophobism, or white supremacism? Do you agree with me that those things don't exist? It just has everything to do with the lack of character? I mean, it can have to do with lack of character and both exist at the same time. No, do you agree with me that those things do not exist? No, of course, those exist? things absolutely exist in the world. You believe racism exists? Yeah, of course. Are you a racist? No. How come you're not? You're a white man. Okay. Why aren't you a racist? 
Just because I'm white doesn't mean I have to be racist. But that was, they think, though, they think all white people are racist. They even think you are racist. That's some why people you're... that think the earth is flat, that doesn't mean I think that as well. So are you okay with black people believing that you are racist? I don't think all black people believe I'm a racist. If you disagree with them, they would. I don't think so. I've disagreed with plenty of black people that don't think I'm racist. Amazing. I, do you agree with me that most black people are suffering <laughs> not because of racism, but they're like a moral character and the destruction of the family? Could be both. Family could be destroyed because of racism. These aren't mutually exclusive. So what now? Family could be destroyed because of racism. It's possible. Do you agree with me that black people are suffering not because of racism, but the lack of moral character and the destruction of the family? I don't think black people in general have a lack of moral character, no. I'm asking about, so you don't believe black people are suffering due to the lack, most black people are suffering due to the lack of moral character? No, I don't think so. How about, uh, so are there more people? Who? But the black people. I don't think any group of people is inherently moral or amoral. How no. about black people? Are black people amoral people? Like amoral people or amoral people? I mean, do they have moral? I mean, morals? I, I, I imagine any group of people has morals. Yeah, for sure. Most black people. You, so you're saying, yes, black people have morals? I would imagine so, yeah. Do you believe that they do? I, I would believe so, yeah. You do? Uh, 77 percent of... Black babies are born out of wedlock to black women who are citizens of this country. Is that moral? Um, I, it depends on your definition of morality. I'm asking you about yours. You're I my don't guess. believe him. I don't have a is definition. That yes. moral? Is that moral? <laughs> Never answers that your question. Is that moral to have oh. babies out of wedlock? I, I don't, this isn't how I do morality. It's, I didn't ask you how you did it. Well, you did. You're asking, asking me if you, I consider is it moral it or not. moral for black women to be having babies out of wedlock. Sure, as long as you take care of a child. It's abortion. Is it more to have an abortion? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, would you want your woman to abort your child? If she really wanted to. You would be okay with that? And there you I, go. I mean, it's her decision. It's her body, right? Amazing! That's how U.S. law works right now. Amazing! <laughs> Are you a beta male? I don't think so. Beta! <laughs> you beta. an alpha male? You a beta! Yeah. Mommy Africa. Uh, the blacks have taken over the government. And now white people are under attack. Their lands are being taken away from them without compensation. No one seemed to care. How do you feel about that? I don't know much about South Africa. Is it right that white... That's, assume I'm telling the truth. Is it white, right that black people should be killing white people, robbing them, going up to their homes and killing them and robbing them and taking their lands, uh, farmland without compensation? Is that right? Why are they doing it? Is it right? It doesn't matter why. Is it right? It doesn't matter why you do something? You have to have a reason to be killing people in their homes and stuff? Yeah, I mean, there might be a good... I don't know. Do you, what if you kill... Oh, so they might be doing it for a good reason? What if you were killing Nazis in their homes or killing murderers and rapists in their homes? Would that be right? I don't know. You tell me. Would it be right to kill... Uh, uh, kill murderers and rapists? Yes, in their home. I don't know. It depends on, how, I guess, how why you define you right or wrong. Why did you ask that question when I asked you about South Africa? <laughs> because I asked you why they were killing them. I'm just curious what the reason is. Amazing. Let's go to some calls. Okay. Oh, uh, I have a question for you. Is 30 years old too old for video games? Uh, I don't think so. How old are you? 30 years old. Oh, no. Are you a video gamer, right? Sometimes I am, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> when we come back, we'll take some calls. Okay. All right. Amazing! What made you take on a girl name online? Well, it was a noun. And I was nine years old, and I lived in Nebraska, so I didn't know any black people. So I'd never met a girl named Destiny before. Oh, did you know Destiny was a girl name I, at nine? No. Nope. You thought it was a boy name? No, I thought it was a noun that just meant sounded cool because I was nine years old. Amazing. Uh, 